Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Advanced Wars Story. Well, there's one mission left in Blue Moon. I guess I should stop putting it off. Three stars is way too low a difficulty for this mission. The Rebel Leader faces the Emperor. Well, we know what matchup is coming, right? The Ultimate Showdown. Colon versus Kanbei. Weak units and lower prices versus his exact opposite. Uh, strong units and higher prices. And unfortunately, um... You know, I've tried recording this a couple of times already, actually. And, um... I don't know if I can call this, like, the best mission in the world. I remember in the original version of this ROM hack, this mission was actually pretty easy because of a weird trick you could do. But now, um, it's, uh... I, I guess we'll see. Colin is not ready for this, and neither am I. Yeah, he should have gone elsewhere and let Max handle this, honestly. But I'll do my best. I played through this, like, five or six times before I started recording, just so I could, like, iron out a strategy, and this mission honestly has a lot of, um, variance to it. Like, there's a lot that could happen, because the movement of the enemy units is not always the same every time, and there's also a bunch of other stuff that I'll get to. I mean, outside of the fact that it's Colon versus Canbay, so all of your direct combat matchups are basically like playing Super Famicom Wars. Yeah, thanks a lot, Lash. Tries too hard. Okay, then. Rebel versus Emperor. I'm sweating already. So we've got an uh, air slash navy slash ground map, and you can see on that center island that there is an airport. Originally, there were a bunch of neutral properties there and two infantry on Yellow Comet's side, obviously. So that that island was very easy to take in the original version because the infantry would succumb to the enemy freeze glitch where they are standing on one of their own properties and will not move because an infantry on the other side is within three spaces of them so it's like oh I better guard the city and not attack anything so that made it very easy to just conquer that island and then you could just run over the top uh, top right part of the map with bombers uh, you can still capture that center island rather easily, but it's not as cost-efficient, so I choose not to do it. I'm just not going to use any air units, because Canterbury likes to build a fighter and a missile, and i just rather not deal with that. I mean, it's a Canterbury fighter. How are you going to shoot that thing down? So in the first couple turns, of course, we have to capture a bunch of stuff. And those two landers are there in order to stop Kanbei from spamming landers and then just blocking his ports with them. So he will be able to build destroyers, subs, and other stuff. And very early on, he likes to build a B-copter. So I'm going to build an anti-air very early on. And to be honest, you know, I've said in the past that I don't think you should have to rely on manipulating the AI in order to win a map. But I honestly feel that's become the case here. I know I criticized the original version for being too easy, but I don't know what happened here. Uh, it's just taken a couple of tries. Something always seems to go wrong when I actually start recording. I'm just getting a little frustrated, I guess. I don't know. So once we've captured all of this stuff, I will build my anti-air. And some infantry are also going to be going north in order to capture those properties, and they'll basically... They're going to try to freeze the infantry on their own properties. That doesn't always happen, because you can see that there is now an enemy tank. Um... I almost... I almost thought I had forgotten something, but I'm okay. Because with Colin at the helm, uh, these navy prices just became a lot more bearable. You can build a sub on turn 4. It's very nice. And I'll be using it too. Because the enemy has a destroyer, and I'd like to take that out. So on next turn, I need to remember to get a destroyer on my own. On one of my other recordings, I forgot. 
Alright, so first trick of the run. I can now attack the bee copter with the anti-air, and due to the difference in stats, this is how much damage you inflict. And at 2 health, the bee copter is going to retreat back to the only airport Kanbei has, and basically block it from ever building anything else while it spends money repairing. So that's pretty nice. Remember the destroyer this time. And if I had a little more money, I would build an APC too, because I'm going to want that in order to keep the sub's fuel going, and in order to transport an infantry later, but not going to happen right away. So on to the next turn. The copter is retreating. Did it even go all the way, or was the tank blocking it? Where was the tank originally? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, it must have been there, and the B-copter moved first. 1, 2, 3, 4... No, that's a really weird position for the uh, B-copter to move to, I gotta say. Alright, so I can destroy the enemy destroyer, that's nice. And the tank is going to be stuck attacking these capturing infantry, which is another AI manipulation you can do. Hopefully it goes for the one by the shoal so that the destroyer can also attack the tank. You've really got to find the engagements where you take little to no counterattack damage. Alright, so I need... I'm gonna get... I have the money for tanks, so let's get, the, let, let's get some of those. I need some. While I'm at it... Why is that B-copter only moving a couple of tiles? That's really strange. Alright, so Kanbei has built a missile. Which is gonna be funny, because I don't have any air units, and I don't plan to build any. Let's go here and here. Let's see if I can catch that destroyer. If I go up here... ...and there. Next, I'll need... I think I need something up there, so here comes a tank, and... I think I'm gonna get another tank, I really need them right now. Uh, this anti-air isn't really... it could attack the recon. There's, there's nothing really that can attack it in turn, except for this artillery. Alright, so B-copter's going back to the airport. There we go. I'm really curious what he's gonna... Yeah, he's got a rocket. That's pretty normal. Right, get rid of this destroyer. And did he build a sub? No, he didn't build a sub. Alright, so... Ah, this is tricky. That infantry is gonna be frozen in place. Luckily, there's no tank over here. I think I need to send one of my tanks up here just to help clean up just a little bit. And here we can see the capture here, and that recon will also hopefully be in repair mode. And I think this infantry is going to go away for a little bit, because I want to take out this tank. You can see how much damage Colin is able to inflict. I mean, it's just like playing Super Famicom Wars with the simultaneous fire, right? Alright, I think now is the time for my EPC. I could actually get Neo Tanks now if I wanted to, not going to. Uh, do I want a battleship? That, that'd be interesting. I have just enough money. Uh, I guess I could go for it. I've got the money for it. But it is a bit of an investment and you have to actually get it over to the enemy side. This morale boost shouldn't really do a whole lot. So, I think it's fine for him to use it now. At least it wastes his power. Samurai Spirit would be just awful to deal with. So, lucky this is happening now. Recon's going away. Tank is not going away. Decided to interrupt the cap. Enemy now has a sub. That's not what I wanted to see. Alright. And another destroyer, too. How fantastic. Okay, this can be destroyed. I can get into the rocket's blind spot, which is fine by me. There's no enemy tank yet. And if I keep destroying infantry, that should stop him from 
building anything but infantry, so that would be good. Is that far enough away? Yeah, it is. I do not know how I'm going to deal with a sub, to be honest. I don't have any cruisers. And that's in range of the... Ugh, that was stupid. Uh, maybe he goes for the infantry first. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I can't freeze this infantry over here, so I'll have to wait. Right, I need I need a cruiser of my own, and I guess I need another tank because I'm about to lose one. Okay, it went for the infantry. That's fine. That is cool. See, I told you the infantry on the city wasn't going to move. Oh, this, this one is almost out of fuel, so I want to... First, I want to make sure the rocket's gone. No big units yet. Okay. Let's do this. You can safely restore the fuel. The sub is just sitting there. That's actually really strange. Hmm. The recon is going to be stuck in repair mode, which is actually really good. I am hoping that the cruiser will get off of that port, because then I can... Oh, uh, he would have to not build anything, too. But if he moves off the port and doesn't build anything in its place, I could totally just uh, destroy the copter. It's almost done repairing. Right, battleship can move. Battleship's safe moving forward. There is still the enemy's destroyer. Not really sure what moves to make with the Navy at the moment. I think now is a pretty good time to actually stop uh, building stuff. And I need these two to join right now. <laughs> oh wait, that's near... Oh, the destroyer's gonna get him. Okay. Well, the tank should be able to stop any further captures on this side, so that's fine. I think I'm actually going to stop building at the moment, because I want the cash to build up so that I can use it on a big power of money. Oh, that was actually a very good move for the cruiser. It revealed the sub, but... A battleship? Are you kidding me? <sighs> okay. I, I can deal with this. I haven't lost yet. Okay, this is fine. Got rid of the cruiser. All I gotta do is... The battleship's gonna come out of there, and then I just need to trap it. That's all that has to happen. So, come back here. No, not there. Here. I need my power meter to fill up, like, right away. That anti-air actually needed more ammo. So can you see how crazy this can get sometimes? Like, I've never seen him actually pull out the battleship before. That's new. And I don't think I like it. So should I build something? That's a good question. Because I'm going to have a lot of money on the next turn. I guess nothing for now, because he's stuck, um, he's stuck repairing all of this stuff, so, yeah, I think I'll be fine. It's a bit of a risk, though, because the copter's gonna come closer, that's fine. Okay, he's got a tank, so I just need a little bit more power. I need, like, um, 9,000 gold worth of damage. So, I think this will be enough. Uh, if I hit it with a sub next. Okay, yeah. I've got power of money. The question is, do I use it? I probably do want to use it just to plow through all of this, because I don't think Kanbei is going to risk any counterattacks on his turn, even if he has Samurai Spirit. 
I don't think he'll get it. All right, uh, 50,000 G, here comes power of money. Now the big question is, what units do we hit with what? I just love using this power, by the way. If you've never seen this in action before, uh, that's quite a lot of damage considering that we're, uh, oh, I think this is actually going to be a one-shot, yes. I'll leave the regular infantry to handle that, though. Oh, with the regular infantry, it's a one-shot. How nice. This is, this is Colin's revenge right here. Look at these numbers. I think I made the right call. Uh, for sure I made the right call. I'm gonna destroy the missiles just to get rid of them. And if I could reach... I'm not gonna destroy the recon quite yet. Now let's get rid of this. Then I can advance forward. Oh, this should be a one-shot. No, just barely not. Okay. Uh, let's roll it forward a little. I could do some damage here, too. In fact, what do, what do I do against the sub? Okay. Not that much. Uh, it won't attack if I do this. I could maybe try and capture this a little bit later. In fact, I think I'm gonna go for that right now. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use the airport, because... You, you can see all this money that I have that's not getting spent, and probably isn't going to be spent, but... Might as well, right? I think I will roll forward and, um... Does he have Samurai Spirit? Yeah, he does. Okay. I need to play these next couple of turns very carefully. I really have no idea what he might try here. But he might waste money replacing the missile. So I'm hoping for some luck here in what he does. Okay, that's expected. Why is he going for the infantry? That's so weird. He did replace the B-copter. And you can see how crazy his defense is. Now, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to attack anything. Because these I can get rid of for sure. And I could finish off this medium tank, I think. Yeah, with a little bit of luck, I managed to do that. I'm going to avoid hitting that tank, actually. It's just way too defensive at the moment. Oh, I could actually hit this B-copter, though. I, I think I'm going to do that. That's pretty good. Even with all his defense, air units are still very hard to defend. 14%. Yeah, just not doing it. If I could get this APC out of the way, that would help, though. So if everything's like this, I, I could actually push to the HQ very swiftly if I'm careful. And if I keep my units in, in position like these, oh, I'll just distract it with a capturing infantry. That'll work. So, just in case you're thinking that I'm actually dealing with this skillfully, I'm really not. This is actually very lucky for me. Let's just get all of the bombers out now that um, we have uh, his place locked down pretty good. Okay, that works. He's cutting me off, and he wasted money on a fighter. Oh, I have a bomber now, so it's not like a total waste. But I could actually shoot at it. I don't want to, though. Okay. Now the B-copter is more of a threat, I think. Yeah, and I can block off the port anyways. I can start capturing the port. Okay, destroyer versus you, and get rid of you. I should be able to push through to his HQ at this point, actually. Oh, the tank was actually frozen by the enemy freeze glitch. I didn't realize that. That came as a bit of a shock. 
Didn't realize it until just now. Okay, so at this point, I think I've got the map secured. I'm gonna take this tank over here and do a kind of a flanking thing. Oh, the sub is actually attacking the cruiser. That is not something you see every day. But because it's Colon versus Kanbei, I guess that is something that could happen. Okay, the battleships really gotta get in there and start doing some damage. I might be able to get a gold rush going. Uh, I'm gonna get this infantry out of the way. I want the destroyer to come in and hit the mech. And I'm not really sure the cruiser could take another hit. So... What do I do? I wish there was a way to get past this recon now, but as long as it's it's still in repair mode. So as long as it stays that way, I'm totally fine. I'm safe. And as for these... Now this is capturable. And the fighter should not be able to actually hit the bomber. Oh, it, it'll be able to hit the bomber, actually. Oh, unless the APC comes down here and protects it that way. Isn't that so silly, how you can protect your air units that way? Okay, let's get more units going. Maybe this will enable another power of money. I could really use one. But I don't think I have enough to get there. Okay, Cruiser can definitely go away now. That was annoying. Oh, wait. This is fine. This is totally fine. I'm gonna get hit. This infantry on the city is not going to move. Enemy freeze glitch. And I kind of need to... I'm going to use the bomber against the sub. Kind of a bit overkill, but it's fine. And I should do something with that fighter. The question is what? Maybe just uh, fend it off with cruisers. So I've basically got this in the bag. I want to reiterate that this was very much a lucky run. This won't happen every single time. Oh, goody, a bomber by the HQ. Uh, as long as it can't touch the capping infantry, everything's fine, so... Should I do this? I need a power of money, like, right now. I'm gonna get power of money just so I can... use it to trash the bomber. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it, though. So... This could get... If I could get just a little bit more... No? Uh, if I attack the lander, maybe? Please? Not just barely, huh? Uh, what about this? No, I should've hit the... I should've hit the sub. Oh, I can hit the fighter! Okay, Mr. Bomber, let's see you deal with this. That took a little longer than it needed to. Let's see how much this does, and ooh, I like that. Down he goes. He can't do anything now. He's gonna activate his super, it does nothing for him. I don't think if I don't, even if he attacked with that infantry near the HQ, I don't think it would do enough damage. He needs to bring it down to 4 health or 6 health. Now he needed 4 health or lower, so that still wasn't going to work. 
Yeah, I, I really think this map is polarized. It's basically S rank or nothing. Well, we did find a way to scratch them, Colin, with your superpower. Yeah, I kind of like this scene, though, too, because it's kind of weaving together the CO powers and CO abilities and the um, ideals of the COs that use them, basically, because the reason Kanbei spends so much money on the individual unit is because he doesn't want to lose them as easily. The colon's a little different. His own pocket, huh? Was Billy Gates just that rich? Because he's fought a lot of battles. No, I don't think Colin is related to Billy Gates, actually, but they're both money CEOs, so... Uh, the idea is there. Twenty percent, unless someone changes his stats, then it's ninety percent sometimes. It's a pretty good feature, Colin. I wouldn't um, sell yourself short, pun intended. Because being able to get to Neo Tanks faster than anybody else, well, as long as you're not up against a guy like Kanbei, you you probably would come out on top. Because Kanbei's super high defense is the only reason, well, one of the reasons this was so difficult. Though, I gotta be honest, Kanbei is doing colon maybe just a little bit too much honor, because Kanbei is still top of the tier list in every game he's been in, I think. Not, like, top top, because that's Hachi's domain, but still. Anyways, that was a very, very rough battle. But I managed it in a decent amount of time, so I'm happy with the result. That's probably too difficult of a map in its current form. Like, it's it's definitely harder than the original version, but it maybe took it a little bit too much. And, again, it's difficult to predict what the AI will do sometimes, both as a player and as a map creator, so I don't know. Um, I'm, that's enough rambling out of me. Uh, I'm going to be right back with the next map. All right, I'm back. Now, I know I haven't gone to Yellow Comet in quite a while, but this mission right here, it unlocks when you complete all of Hawk's missions, and I really want to get it out of the way because it's kind of a tough one. So here we go. Now, you can see clearly who the enemy CO is. It's unfortunate that the enemy CO portrait uh, spoils the idea of this mission when so many other missions hide it, but that hiding the enemy CO portrait is basically an accident, as I've gone over multiple times. So, nothing we can really do about that without going through a bunch of hoops. Because I can think of a way to hide the enemy CO portrait, but it's kind of a lot of effort for something so minor. So meanwhile, Jess and Hawk are talking about actual life in Black Hole. Because one does wonder, when you have a country like Black Hole, what civilian life is like when the place is basically an invasion-devising machine, as Hawk puts it. And the topic turns to Hawk's life. Which leads to this funny line. Yes, Sturm was very much Hawk's father. He would often go, Hawk, I am your father. <laughs> Bottom of the barrel humor, I know, I know. But people did compare Advance Wars 2 Sturm's design to Darth Vader, so... I think it's a very appropriate joke to make, even though it's one anybody with a brain could think of. So 
So yes, breaking the invasion machine of Black Hole was Hawk's reasoning for quote-unquote killing Sturm with Black Storm, which can't kill. So, is it any surprise that we have to face Sturm in this map? The goal of life is conquest. Well, all of those civilians who pay taxes probably disagree. And so did all of his subordinates. Yeah, I wonder about those cell doors, because they can't hold Lash, they can't hold Hawk, they can't hold Flack or anybody else. Anyways, I really like the mission name, it's very clever. Confronting Enigma, hearkening back to the Advanced Wars 1 mission where you first face Sturm, which is called Enigma. If I remember correctly, of course. I think you spelled devised wrong there. I think it's devised with an S. How much trouble did Jess give Black Hole? She was in like two missions. And barring anything the player could select her for, but I never really used her outside of those two. And Sinking Feeling was basically lost because of Lash's incompetence. She just needed to send an APC at the battleships. Come on. Literally not human? What is Sturm then? Some kind of alien? A uh, robot, maybe? You know, we never did find out. <laughs> Declares war on his existence. You know what? That's probably not intended to be funny, but it is pretty funny. It's edgy. So we're going to be commanding Green Earth's troops, which means absolutely nothing. It just means they have a green palette. It's weird, because these are supposed to be Green Earth soldiers, yet they still look like Black Hole soldiers with that astronaut look. Well, let's get started. First thing to do in this mission is to uh, basically just capture all of those properties in the, me in the immediate area. You can see that Sturm has a Dreadnought deployed. It's not going to be much use to him, honestly. It basically uses up all of its fuel by the time it gets to my HQ. He's got a lander pre-deployed as well, and an anti-air by the HQ to deter any uh, shenanigans you might be thinking of pulling. So of course I'm going to pull such shenanigans, or at least I hope I can. I've tried this a couple of times and it hasn't really gone well for me. But I'll give it my best, as we all do. So the basic idea is going to be running through the top part of the map, capturing whatever gets in our way, and uh, building a fleet of air units. Do you call a, a group of air units a fleet? I think you call it a squad. Well, uh, these are semantics. The first thing Sturm has built is... Oh, he hasn't built any tanks yet. By the way, I should look at Sturm's dossier, because he has changed in this ROM hack. Let me just capture all of this stuff. And, uh, I have to get more infantry. So, Hawk is the same as always. He's basically just Vanilla Hawk, with the mass damage powers and the plus 10 attack and everything. Sturm, on the other hand, he has the same stats as Advanced Wars 1 Kanbei, like normal. He has the perfect movement on all terrain, like normal. But his units now have minus one move, barring the foot soldiers. And that's really interesting in my opinion. Oh, by the way, the Meteor is the same deal as always, 8 HP damage, etc. So, minus one movement on all of his units, barring the foot soldiers, is actually very interesting. I think it's a much better compromise for his um, perfect terrain movement. 
I mean, Storm had no weakness in any of the Advance Wars games, besides, like, Advance Wars 1. So, if you wanted to give Sturm a penalty of some kind while keeping the spirit of Sturm, quote-unquote, then I think this is basically the way to do it. Just give him minus one movement. It's a nice enough compromise. Um, he's not going to be used it much in multiplayer anyways, because people probably ban Sturm in all games. Unless it was like Advance Wars by Web. If I remember the tiers right, he's not in the top tier. No, he is in the top tier, but I don't think he's considered the absolute best CO. That's still Hachi's domain. So just keep it movement. When the Dreadnought gets here... See, I actually cannot capture this port at the moment because the Dreadnought is there. It would just destroy whatever infantry is trying to cap it. So now I need to look at what Storm built. He's got a tank, and it's behind the infantry, so I'm going to take a bit of a risk and not build a tank of my own. Let's see how that works out. Because you need anti-air units. The, um... Storm's fighters are really difficult to deal with. You cannot win against their fighters. Like, even if you attack first with one of your own, then when Storm gets his turn, he'll just attack your fighter, and then you'll be on the losing end. So it's good to get as many anti-air units out as you can, close to the start of the game. I'm gonna make a battle copter next. That'll deal with the tank if it decides to approach. Depending on the tank's AI, this could go differently. Like, either the tank will approach and attack me, or, um... Or it will hang back and head for the south part of the map, which would be strange, but it has happened. There's variants to this mission, too. I don't really have a consistent plan for it. I'm just retrying over and over again until my plan works. Okay. The tank is heading for the south part of the map, as I mentioned. I predicted it correctly. And there's a medium tank. It's also going to head for the southern part of the map. I think the reason that happens is because this is technically the closest uncaptured property. And the AI kind of works that way. By uh, going for uncaptured properties. So, where can this copter go? It can't hit this... Uh, it can't hit that tile, so I'm gonna go there. And now I would like to get a T-copter. I'm gonna need one of those, because I gotta transport something to the HQ when I capture it. So I'm, her I'm hoping that Sturm... Oh, the medium tank is actually moving north now. Okay, that's a little strange. But a fighter was built at the bottom part of the map, which is a good thing, because it might not bother me at all as I'm moving around the northern part. So I can get rid of the T-copter and the uh, B-copter as well. I can interrupt this. I better do it from here. Can this dreadnought reach the property? No. Okay, that's good. And, um, I'm gonna need a bomber for sure now, because that medium tank is actually not expected. Uh, the destroyer is there, so I can't capture the port still. Okay, I've never seen the medium tank head north. That's very odd. But at least I can outrun it, because uh, it's a stern medium tank, and, in, and because of the minus one move, that medium tank can actually only move four spaces a turn. Kind of significantly reduces the usefulness of the unit. So my bomber should be able to get over there in time. I'm just damaging the dreadnought, because I know it's going to make an attack against the unit on the building. Capture that. Now, I should be able to capture this port. I have to block it, though. So, the recon being down here is also a bit of an oddity. But, it's fine. Everything is going basically smoothly for the moment. The trouble is approaching the HQ. Okay, so even at 7 HP, a Storm Dreadnought is able to one-shot my infantry like that. Kind of annoying. 
So yes, he's built a sub down there, which is a bit strange. And you can see that the Dreadnought is actually running out of fuel. It's actually going to run out of fuel um, towards the end of the map. And I would very much like it to run out of fuel, because then it won't be able to charge the CO meter. Okay, the tricky part is what to do with this medium tank. If I move like that, I should actually be safe. So that's what'll happen. And there's no fighter or anything up here. So the bombers can still do their thing. And another bomber. Oh, better move this out of the way. probably going to take a while for the infantry to actually get over to my HQ, so I don't need to worry about it getting capped. Ooh, an interceptor. That's kind of not good. How far can it go? It can go pretty far. So I'm hoping that it go I'm hoping that it just dives straight into the anti-air's range. That would be very nice. I could destroy it straight away. Wouldn't have to worry about it. Where's the enemy fighter? Okay, that's good. Let's hope it doesn't get any ideas about coming near me. If I block this, I can actually uh, protect that. Well, if I protect it, though, that this thing will get in the way. I'll just let them cap it. It's no big deal. Oh, I could lure it, actually. Maybe with a B-copter, but I would want to keep all of my units alive. And I also need to be thinking about the Meteor, because I think he's close to getting it. Okay, he's four stars away, but I do want to have a distraction set up for it. Of course, I could just spread all of my units out when the Meteor is about to land. Okay, where is that Interceptor going to go? Weird position, but I think I'll take it. Another medium tank is not what I was hoping for. Okay. This is where it can go. Um, I'm gonna put these... This is probably safe for them. That also blocks off a couple of tiles, so I think I will do that. Interceptors can't attack ground units, can they? No, they cannot. Well, this gives another bomber the chance to roll forward some more. The more forces I have going for the HQ, the easier it'll be to take them. He does not have a regular fighter quite yet. Oh, he has that regular fighter at the bottom, I forgot. Where is it, by the way? It's still not really a threat, and this infantry just can't do anything, unfortunately. I don't want to spend time uh, defending it. Where is he at? Okay, still nowhere close to having all of his stars. This interceptor is being really annoying. And what are these land units doing? Okay, this needs to be approached very carefully. I'm able to do this. And, um... Gosh, what do I do now? I can at least capture that. I should have gotten some air units, I think. I thought the anti-airs would be enough. Do I just hold everyone up around this area? Hope he gets close. One thing's for sure, I think I'm losing an air unit either way. So if that's gonna be the case... Uh, the copter needs the most um, defense, I think, so if I go like this, 
At least the T-Copter can't be destroyed. That's the best setup, I think. Unless the Interceptor decides to go over here, I can get one of my own. I think I'm going to start using the, that Interceptor and all other units that I build from that point to distract his Meteor, I think. Okay, that's good. Um, I've got Black Wave. Which might be helpful. Okay, first things first, this... 30%, that's not what I was, uh... It's not exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, there's no other air units, so I'm... I, I'm fine keeping these over here. And, um... I gotta do this, too, I think. So this bomber could fly down here. But the missile's not really a threat right now. Oh, you know what? I need to spread my units out anyways, because the meteor is coming for sure. So let's go like this. The missile is not a threat, so I'm gonna have the, the infantry stay in the copter. Yeah, that's safe. So, uh, 17,000, 17,000, that's 30, 39,000. Ooh. I think that's enough of a distraction, if I do it this way. So it's 46,000, and these units down here are only 39,000, so... I think I can have the bomber move forward some more, too. At least I'm getting a Black Storm on the next turn. I hope this works! Because even... You know, just when you think you've set everything up correctly, that's when something goes wrong. But it did go right, so that's a good thing. That was close. I thought for sure. You just don't know sometimes, you know? Uh, don't build anti-airs, please. Uh, he's got some mechs. Okay. I think I can work with this, but I definitely want a super. Why is the AI playing this so smart? Alright, let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to do this first and foremost. And I still have two bombers left. Can can this do anything? Yeah, definitely. And I want to get rid of the anti-air. And the tank is pretty tough too. I'll get rid of that. I think we've got this. I don't know for sure. The good news is I have a full HP Interceptor that can clean up any more air units that show up. Nothing I build is really going to do anything past this point. No, the mech can still attack the infantry! That's... Ugh. Oh, please attack the copter. Please attack the copter. You can kill it on this turn. No, the tank blocked it! Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, that's so bad. I have to outlive him for five turns. I, I can probably still win this, 
But I have to last five turns now. At minimum. This is nuts. Okay, if I base block him on all sides. Like he's base blocked now. <laughs> Uh, I think the T-Copter has to actually go back for a reinforcement. Oddly enough, I have captured that property. So, it's still on. I'm not dead. This is just gonna take a little longer. Okay, I've got to stop that from healing, somehow. He can't build from the bases, which is good, and actually, as long as the Interceptor stays there, he can't build any more air units. But I can also block the airports myself, so... I'll have to wait and decide on what to do with that later. Let's get rid of the missile. Get rid of this too. Do I have a unit that can, um... Can the Interceptor get over there? No. Okay, for the time being... Oh, where can this cruiser go? This cruiser is going to be annoying too. I can't... I'm not going to be able to... Oh my goodness. Okay, go here. And block that. Uh, four more turns, and reinforcements are coming. Slowly, but they'll show. Getting just a little bit insane here. Okay, that helps. I gotta stop that cruiser somehow. Uh, can Bombers still do a number on him? Yes, thank goodness. How about this? Uh, I don't know how long those are gonna hold out. I'm running out of supplies and stuff. It's just... This is getting insane. He could, he could roll up another meteor if I'm not careful. Ouchie. Well, at least I've got the money for it. That's something. I hope a 5 HP infantry is good enough. Or not infantry, interceptor. Uh, still not there. Uh, but I can keep it in place, that's something. I really got to, um, uh... Oh, I've got Black Wave now, so I could actually... I could have, um... Well, I can't make it go by a little bit faster. It'll... It'll still take two more turns. What are... What's the next Meteor at? Okay, I think I've got this. I really think I've got this now. I don't think anything could, um, stop me at this juncture. That fighter's getting a little close. I want a cruiser. I was gonna build a unit, uh, from a port after all. Okay. Okay, the Interceptor can't do anything. The Landers sure can't do anything. Those units can't do anything. I think I've got this. One more turn. That took a little longer than I wanted it to, but I got this. What an intense way to run the map. Probably could have played it a lot smarter and cleared in the same amount of time. Oh, I think he actually blocked my HQ with his recon, so I'm not... 
I wasn't going to be able to lose anyways. There we go. First battle against Sturm, and I actually did it. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! And he's gone. Ah, uh, yep, he's gonna be in other maps, too. Boy, was this video exhausting to make. Whew. That is that. Oh, wow, I should have built more units. I would have gotten a perfect... Well, now that that's over with, we can now move on to whatever the next exciting battle is. Probably the Yellow Comet mission. Oh boy. Let's hope I don't have to face Sturm again too quickly. Uh, I'll see you guys for the next video.